guys, we're going to be talking about ApeCoin, ticker symbol APEUSD. We're going to go over the old support level, old resistance level. We're also going to go over how ApeCoin has been moving. The past day or two has been very lethargic, has not been moving too much. So the buying level that I have now is actually a pretty far away on the downside as I feel the upside is getting a little slower and it seems like a little heavier on the upside to actually start pushing higher. So I do think we're going to get some more drop down on ApeCoin. And even if we do get upside, I'll give you guys a resistance level on the upside just in case if that breaks, then we can start looking for upside potential. But for right now, I am looking for downside on ApeCoin. So make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. Let's get this channel over 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, okay? That's the goal. So we have a support level right here around like $3.30. And then we had a resistance level at about $3.80. Now you can tell support held good. Okay, you guys know I try to give you guys the best levels in the game. So make sure you don't miss a video and make sure you show your support. Let's get this video over 50 likes. Okay, let's get this video over 50 likes for these key levels that I give you guys. So support held here, held here, nice punch up, right? So that was a good sign of bullishness, ran up. We had a resistance level right here at about $3.80, broke the resistance, resistance tested as support. Now, I wasn't watching it, but that was the sign right there that ApeCoin wanted to go higher. So let's see. Probably wouldn't have entered off here. I probably would have entered here. Oh, man, that's the wrong one. Let me take that off. I want to see um, how much did it go up. About 22%. So that was a nice scout play right there. If I was watching it, would have did it, was not watching it, okay? But that was the first two levels. So let's take the support level off and let's take that resistance level off. Next. We do have a support level where price is. So that is the first level we'll put on here. We have a support at about $4.10. So we'll put a support level right there. Uh, let me make that a little bit darker. Okay, that's our first support level at $4.10. But I'm thinking the support level might actually break because I actually have a buying level at about like $3.70 in that area is where I'm kind of looking for buying pressure at now. Because like I said, it's looking weaker on that upside, but just in case it does start to go higher, we want to watch a resistance right around like $4.72 in that area. So we have three key levels that I'm kind of watching out for right now. If this resistance level breaks on the upside, we could probably start looking for upside potential on ApeCoin. If it holds at the support level, probably won't trade ApeCoin. And then if it falls down, because the support level will have to break, and then if it falls down at that 370 level, $3.70, and buying pressure comes off that, that will probably be my buy to actually trade it up higher into like the $5 ranges. Because you got to remember, ApeCoin is kind of like on a reversal right now. It's been bled ever since that auction sale went away. That put a lot of hype in ApeCoin. Do I think ApeCoin is going to go anywhere? No. And then I do think some of it has been overblown with the Celsius stuff, uh, Binance stuff, holding those withdrawals. But I think once all that gets settled, um, I actually think once they allow you to withdraw, even more money will come out of crypto. So we might be more down, um, have some more downside, but watch these two, well, watch these three key levels right now, buying level, support level, and resistance level. And if any one of these breaks, I'll update you guys later on today. If you guys want me to go on any other cryptos, make sure you comment them down below in the comment section so I can check them out. And then if they have any key levels, I'll make those videos for you guys. Thank you guys for being here. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.